Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we look at the case of a teenager who brought unprecedented violence to his hometown after falling in with some dangerous criminals who were from Bootle. They never done no madness, them man actors, cause man active 14 man add up on action, I'll try run them bro, say catch him Swear down that day was tragic, disappeared through smoke like magic But then I was dabbing on magic, I was out trying to make my back fit Like no bro was on my beast, but man like me still back fit 3, 5, 6, 2 hacks, which putting in work like formal practice OT with a different accent, me and you got different motives When the wingman's face get open, in a cell fighting with emotion And they come with a smoking ban, but most of the time was smoking in juvies, we got life, grab paper and I wrote some I don't know how he's coping Like shit deeper than all of the ops shit deeper than oceans Like shit hotter than Satan Till I punch to the cover the cameras And better just do my blading Lewis Clark, who was 18 and from Formby Had met two criminals from Bootle Malcolm Graham, who was 19 And Adam Mercer, who was 22 Clark had fell into a cycle of violence Which exposed him to seeing guns and had seen the first shooting in Formby for years. Mr. Clark had fell out with a former friend, William Cowley, who he had known for years. It was reported that it was only a silly row over cigarettes, but Mr. Clark had decided that the best way to deal with it was to fire a shot at his old friend's house on Gardner Road. The shooting had shocked the local public, and the neighbourhood police team worked very hard to offer reassurance to the locals. But unfortunately, the shooting led to more violence in the heart of the Formby village. Mr Cowley, who was now very upset and had now armed himself with a knife, spotted a lad in the town that he suspected of being an associate of Mr Clark's. The pair had a fight and Mr Cowley pulled the knife out and plunged it into his side. Very luckily, a passing of a PCSO had spotted the aftermath and raised the alarm for police to get to the scene. The man that Mr Cowley had stabbed arrived at hospital in critical condition. However, he fortunately survived the attack. Mr Cowley, who already had a previous criminal record, was jailed for five years with an extended three-year license. When the police arrested Malcolm Graham, they found footage on his iPhone, which linked him, Mr Mercer and Mr Clark to a number of guns. In one clip, Mr Mercer was filmed snorting cocaine off the barrel of a shotgun. One of the weapons which was present in the video had been used to shoot dead teenager Kevin Wilson who was from Liverpool. Although it was later confirmed that neither Mr Graham, Mr Mercer or Mr Clark were linked to the crime and to this day nobody has been charged with the murder. The feud between Mr Clark and Mr Cowley had still continued and it later exploded in prison. When the two teenagers found themselves in the same cell, Mr Cowley required treatment after being attacked very badly by his former friend. Lewis Clark of Southport Road, Formby, pleaded guilty to possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear and violence, possession of a firearm and two counts of possessing bullets. He was sent to a young offenders institution for seven and a half years. Malcolm Graham of Albert Road, Southport, and Adam Mercer of Cullen Street in Bootle were both sentenced to 11 years in a young offenders institution. The court heard how Mr Graham had punched one of his co-accused in the face and later attacked an inmate while on remand at Hindley Prison. Judge David Aubrey QC sentencing Mr Clark said, You became agitated. You began to make threats towards the family and then, in a public highway, you produced a firearm. It was described as a handgun and it was in your waistband on your trousers. You fired that weapon at the porch which caused the glass window to smash. You were willing to be in the close proximity to those who may have the ultimate control of such lethal weapons and by doing so you perpetrated the circulation of lethal weapons in our society. Following the sentences Detector Inspector Richie Jones said the sentences of these three offenders today shows a strong message to those involved in gun crime. Merseyside Police is committed to taking those involved in gun crime off the streets. Malcolm Graham and Lewis Clark were both linked by DNA, photographs and videos 
to a Baikal self-loading pistol, which, just three weeks earlier, before it came into their possession, was used to murder Kevin Wilson on Smithdown Road in February of 2015, a murder which is still unsolved to this day. These three thought that they were untouchable and were seen in photographs on phones owned by Mr. Graham and Mr. Clark posing with these weapons. Alongside the firearm offences, Malcolm Graham was sentenced for two Section 20 assaults. One was on a prison inmate and the other was an assault on Mr. Adam Mercer. People like Malcolm Graham and those that he associates with have a complete disregard for each other, as you can see for the assault on Mr. Mercer, let alone on the members of the public. They use fear, violence and intimidation to get what they want and they think they can do what they want without any comeback. They couldn't be more wrong. And I would like to reassure the public that Merseyside Police is committed to taking people like Mr. Graham and his associates off the street. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by Mr. Graham, Mr. Clark and Mr. Mercer? Do you believe a sentence of 11 and a half years for teenagers posing with guns was too harsh? or not harsh enough. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the Street Crime UK content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can join us on the next video. Thank you for joining us and until next time, stay safe.